Welcome back to Fashion Voices, a show that brings together the hearts and minds of the industry's greats for an unfiltered discussion on a new topic each week. Are there trends and items that we're also saying goodbye to? What, the sweatpant? Is it the sweatpant that's going? Do you think the sweatpant's going? I think no. they're going to be sleeker, but they're not going to go. This week, we are looking ahead and imagining the world of fashion post lockdown. Joining me on this journey is Julia Hobbs. As global fashion editor, Julia's writing covers everything from the latest international catwalk analysis to pop cultural trends. And secondly, we have the musician, philanthropist and fashion icon Daphne Guinness dialing in from the Caribbean. Daphne is known for her distinctive style and her renowned collection of avant-garde fashion, owning numerous pieces of Alexander McQueen, Karl Lagerfeld and Philip Tracy. Guys, hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Fashion Voices. Um, let's just dive right in. We have been in and out of lockdown for a year now, and the pandemic has undeniably changed the landscape of fashion. What are the biggest changes you've seen, and are they here to stay? Well, I mean, obviously slowing down on everything, um, but not going out so much has sort of made me go to a sort of a, a, a more... Um, a more neutral kind of palette every day. Um, a kind of an another sort of uniform. I mean, I'm a uniform person anyway, but my kind of new uniform is a sort of tight black leggings and 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 sh and t-shirts and uh, ancient embroideries and kimonos. Nice. That's my sort of daytime stuff. What was your uniform before? It's kind of a version of a white tie, but it's white tie with shorts, morning coats, frock coats, a lot of ribbons. Where are you at the moment? Currently, I'm in Mustique, um, where I've been for quite a long time. It's a, a beautiful space. This is actually um, the house that David Bowie built. Oh, sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, Give yeah, us a yeah, house yeah, tour. Yeah. And I can... It's oh. very beautiful. Oh, it's stunning. Wow. It's just hanging at Bowie's. That's not quite my <laughs> lockdown experience. Um, Julia, tell me about the landscape of fashion during lockdown, how it's changed. I think the pace that we were moving in our regular lives, every month there was something where we felt we had to be something for someone else. You know, mm. if you had a summer diary full of weddings or parties or 30th birthdays you know it's always those moments where you you're thinking about yourself perhaps through the lens that other people see you and what the pandemic did was totally upend that and suddenly we're dressing for ourselves mm. and actually this is a time where there's been nothing else to do on a saturday so we've maybe dug back through the clothes we already have and gone oh, i forgot about these and sort of put them on and thought, okay, yeah. you know, I, and I yeah. hope that people have liked themselves a bit more at this time. That we've fallen, maybe not just fallen back in love with the clothes we have that have been languishing at the back of our wardrobes, but we've fallen back lo in love with ourselves a little bit more. Yes, very true. I was going to say, I like shot my wardrobe, but the first month it was like, where are my comfiest, comfiest clothes? Yeah. And now I'm like, where are my very, very special garments? And when yes. am I going to wear them out on the street? What do you think the mood of post lockdown dressing will be? Growing up and as a teenager, there was always the idea that, oh, the, the, the best times of happened. There's always this idea of what came before was more hedonistic, more fun, mm. more flamboyant. And suddenly now we have this, as terrible as it's been, it's kind of a clean slate. So it's yeah. kind of potentially what might come when we eventually sink our teeth into the roaring 20s. Yeah. yeah Could totally. be amazing. But I feel like there's this new energy of like, Nothing is going to be too much once we're free. Yeah. Like, w whatever I see people wearing, I'm going to be like, good for her. And also being, un being uninhibited. We've had to be so confronted with ourselves. It's like, I, I hope that collectively that, that we've got not very much left to feel afraid of. It's yeah. like, let's make up for the time that we've all missed. Mm. And let's just really, really, really enjoy what's coming next and just be really nice to each other. Yeah, let's come together, exactly. There's been so much division in, in politics and everything. Let's come together as, a, as, 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 one, as one consciousness. The other night I, I decided to actually make an effort and I put on all my sort of reflective, I, I was, someone said to me yesterday that I, 
I was like a walking disco ball. It's just like a tunic over a over a over a bejeweled cat suit. Here are the shoes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the classics. I feel like they work with joggers. Yeah, they do. Everybody was so happy mm. to see someone sort of looking reflective. Yeah. Well, I think ultimately, clo ultimately, clothes are our chosen skin. You know, they really are our chosen skin. And I think we communicate so much about our clothes, you know, like it's an expression of the joy that you bring other people in that you share your sort of identity and your character in that way. Yeah. Only about two weeks ago, I it's the perfect weather for suede. My suede jacket's coming out, it's coming out. And I put it on, nice trousers, went out into the streets like Dick Whittington arriving in London and everyone was in sportswear and I was like, it's too soon. It's too soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's too soon. Uh, so you sent me your picture of you on lockdown. Can you tell me about it? Daphne. There's one with me in a sort of swimsuit with some shorts. Mm -hmm. That's been me for the last few months. It's got a, a zip down the front and it's kind of almost Barbarella. Fabulous. It's not quite Bond Girl, but it is very like, it's got utility beyond swimming for me. Yeah. It's sleek. Yes, yeah. that's exactly the word I was looking for. And Julia, just tell me about the picture you sent. What are you wearing? How is, does it encapsulate your lockdown? I guess one of the weirder things of lockdown is occasion dressing at home, where you yeah. go to an event, but really you're sitting on your staircase and <laughs> you've persuaded someone to take a photo of you. So this was for Wee oui, Mui, oui, their Women's Tales series. And it was a amazing kind of short film premiere. The top part of the look is based on a catwalk look that Kate Moss wore. It's like a classic 90s Mew Mew look. What I loved about this was the character of it. I thought, yeah, I right. would be in that mini skirt looking a bit outrageous, even if I'm just staying on my stairs. So I, I love this look, but mm. I like that skirt. You couldn't really sit down in it. You don't need to sit down. Going out isn't about sitting down. I think it's funny that what you were saying about someone else taking your picture, because like my husband is the David Bailey of my house. <laughs> I'm like, it's time <laughs> coming downstairs Get the picture. I'm not using a tripod again. <laughs> Are there trends and items that we're also saying goodbye to? What, the sweatpant? Is it the sweatpant that's going? Do you think the sweatpant's going? I think... No. They're going to be sleeker, but they're not going to go. I've seen a lot of versions of the sweatpant silhouette that just mm. comes in a more refined fabric. In fact, I may have been scrolling through those this morning. And I did think it was really interesting how it's maybe keep keeping the comfort silhouette, but working yes. in more refined fabrics. And I think we're gonna see a lot of really sort of soft dressing. So it's suiting or it's shirting, mm. um, amazing tailoring, but it's just in a slightly softer cut. I think the idea that we're going to be wanting to be in something that feels incredibly restrictive at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., 11 a.m. Mm. in the morning is just not the one. What you've pitched to me is a crochet suit and the end yes. of pinchy shoes. It's done. The end of pinchy shoes. <laughs> no more pinchy shoes. Last question, Daphne, what are you most looking forward to wearing post lockdown? Just to be back in my cat suits with my shoes. Fabulous. That's pretty good. <laughs> I, I, I also think once they invent the dual scuba flipper. Yeah, 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 be, yeah, yeah. You'll be there. Yeah, I, I, I'll be there. Anything that's, anything that's out there. Julia, what are you most looking forward to wearing when we emerge? Oh my God. Something totally kind of inappropriate. Yeah. Something that's see-through, too short. I think yeah. we're all going to embrace that feeling of there's no such thing as too much. There's no such thing oh. as too sexy. There's no yeah. such thing as too short. I'm a bit bored of those clothes that have been so much about practicality. And I think right. I'm looking forward to wearing something that's got no pockets, shows tons of skin, looks mm. amazing when you move and when you dance and has a life of its own. I love that. Yeah. I'm literally salivating. <laughs> I'm I like, know. Mm -hmm. I literally, I want to be in a nightclub bathroom with a group of other women all 
screaming at a really obnoxious octave about how much we love what each other are wearing. I can't wait to see you both. And I think that is part of the brilliance of us going back out. It's as much yeah. like, what am I gonna wear as what is she gonna wear? What my mates gonna yeah, wear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't mood. wait to see you both. On that note, it's time to say goodbye. Why? Yeah, it's thank you so much, much for joining me today on the panel. It's been brilliant. If you like what you've seen, please remember to subscribe to the Farfetch YouTube channel and leave a comment in the box below. Thank you.